Hello, what's up, squad, and welcome back to the Damn Podcast Channel. Y'all, we're on the podcast channel. Over here, we do headlines, we do case updates, uh, we go live from time to time, we do that kind of stuff. So, make sure you are subscribed to this channel over here. Don't forget my other channel, the main channel, reporting live from my sofa. Over there, we do deeper dives, we do like interrogation breakdowns, longer story formats, that kind of stuff. So, if you like that vibe, Make sure you subscribe. I like that. We might be going with that now. If you like the vibe, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, so today you saw the thumbnail. You clicked. Here we are. Welcome. We're going to be talking about this. This, Y'all, this is in right here, Raleigh, where I live. This took place, and I'm still baffled by this. So this is a crazy Carolina headline. This is about the pilot who jumped out of the airplane before they did an emergency landing. Um, and so... Again, I'm recording this on Saturday, the 6th of August, so you'll probably see this next week. So, again, more could be updated this time, by the time you see it, that kind of a thing. But I just wanted to go over some of this because it's so bizarre to me. Um, and so let's talk about it. So what I want to do first is start by looking at a very short clip uh, of the landing itself and listening to the 911 phone call uh, that came in from the, uh, from the airport or whatever you call it, from RDU or something. So this is the video of that emergency landing. So the plane makes an emergency landing. This is in Wake County, North Carolina. We're told this happened because of a problem with the landing gear. Okay, so first responders go up to the plane. When they open the plane's door, only the co-pilot was on board. It's not clear how the 23-year-old pilot, who was supposed to be there, either fell from the plane or something else without a parachute. Hi, this is from Raleigh Airport. We had a pilot that was inbound to the field. His co-pilot jumped out of the aircraft. He made impact to the ground. His co-pilot jumped out without the parachute, so he might have impact to the ground. I guess at this point in time, all we can really do is kind of do a recovery yeah, or something. I know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is, I've never heard anything. It's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I'm sure this pilot's going to be shaken up. I have no idea. He, he, he literally just said, my pilot just jumped out. Okay, so I, I, I can't imagine. This is absolutely horrifying to me. Few different things going on here. Well, first of all, let's do this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be reviewing an article that's from the News and Observer. I'm gonna put up clips and we're gonna talk about it. And it's basically like a what we know so far type situation. Then after that, I'm gonna talk about my opinions, my thoughts, that kind of stuff on it. So the way this will work is I'll put a screenshot up, we'll kind of read through some key points of it, and then we'll discuss my opinions at the very end. So let's go ahead and dive in. So again, this is the Raleigh News and Observer. It's called Question and Answer, what we know about the co-pilot's mysterious mid-flight exit before RDU landing. It's by Corey Dean, Kimberly Catadula, uh, for the News and Observer Raleigh on Tuesday. Okay, so the 23-year-old man died Friday after he jumped out of or fell out of the plane that went on to make an emergency landing at the RDU airport. Now, it says that they've, to help us better understand what happened, they've compiled answers to common questions we might have about the event using information from the News and Observer's previous reporting. So, let's just see what they have to say. Here we go. So the first thing is titled, What Happened? A plane made an emergency landing at RDU Airport Friday afternoon. It was originally carrying two licensed pilots, but one pilot, Charles Hugh Crooks, he is 23 years old and a flight instructor, exited the plane before the emergency landing. The plane had previously attempted to land near a private airport in Rayford earlier, after, earlier Friday afternoon, but the right wheel of their turboprop fell off. The pilots called air traffic control about the emergency. It's not known whether Crooks or the pilot, whose name has not been released, was speaking, but the caller confirmed there were two people. And then it's quoting what they said. We were attempting to land, made contact with the ground, had a hard landing, and decided to go around, and at that point we lost the wheel. Now it goes on to say how they requested the emergency landing at RDU. And it also says when it got there, you know, it did the landing, it veered into the grass, and only one pilot was in the plane. So it goes on to say that the authorities received a report about a missing man around 2.30 or 2.45 p.m. And it says the search took about four hours, but they eventually did find crooks dead in a few quaver in a neighborhood around 7 p.m. Friday. So then the next thing is who was involved in the plane exit and crash landing. It goes on to talk about the man. His name is Charles Hugh Cooks, 23 years old. Um, he exited the plane mid-flight. He was the pilot, a flight instructor. And it says that he was a pilot for Rampart Aviation, which offers pilot and aircraft training commercially and for the Department of Defense. Then the next thing is where did the search crews find the exited pilot? 
It says he was found dead behind a house near Sunset Lake uh, and Hilltop Needmore Roads in the Sonoma Springs subdivision of Fugue Verena, about 20 miles from the airport. It says the plane carrying Crooks and the other pilot passed over Fugue Verena around 2.30 at about 3,800 feet. Uh, the search took four hours, but they eventually did find him. Then it says, why did he exit the plane mid-flight? And it remains unclear. He is thought to have jumped or fallen out mid-flight. The recording of the plane's exchange with air traffic control contains no mention of someone falling or jumping from the aircraft. The surviving pilot told authorities that the co-pilot had jumped out before the landing. What kind of plane was involved in the event? The men were flying a CASAC-212 Avocar, a twin-engine cargo plane made in Spain. The plane has a loading ramp at the rear that can be opened in mid-flight, making it ideal for parachute training. The aircraft was registered to Sport LTD, a company managed by Rampart Aviation, which has contracts with the military to provide parachute training, test, and evaluation activities for U.S. Army Airborne Units and U.S. Special Operations Forces. And then it goes into who is in investigating the event. It says the National Transportation Safety Board and Federal Aviation Administration will lead an investigation into the incident with Fuquay Verena Police Department's help, the police department announced on Friday's Facebook. Uh, they told the NNO in an email statement that the board did not send an investigator to the scene of the incident, but it is working with the FAA collecting information, evaluating the damage of the aircraft and circumstances to determine the extent of an NTSB NTSB investigation, though no decision regarding that extent has been made at this point. Okay, so that was the key points of the article that I wanted to go over. So now let's just kind of talk about my opinions and that kind of a thing on it. First of all, my heart goes out to their family members. Um, this is absolutely horrible. So to me, there's a couple of things going on here. At first, when I started hearing about this, I was like, oh, maybe, and this could be what they find out. It almost sounded like the guy was like, oh God, we're gonna crash. I stand better to jump out of the airplane. Like, uh, you know, maybe I'll survive that way. But what throws me off is that I'm like, okay, well, he's a flight instructor for like, not just like a, I teach people how to fly crop dusters over the farmland. I mean, but this is like, you know, they're doing like US Army stuff. So that's where I'm like, surely he would maybe have more confidence to be like, we can land the plane. You know what I'm saying? Then the part where it was like, okay, that little thing can go down. I'm like, well, maybe he was going to try and work on something and he accidentally fell out of the plane. Like maybe he was like, I'm going to go try and pull this down or, but then you would also think, well, why would you do that too? But then also the dude, the other pilot saying, oh, he jumped out, you know, I'm dying to hear what the other pilot has to say about this because I think a lot of answers will lie in there as to whether he like jumped out or what. Now, again, for me, if I was like in the thing and it was like, first of all, when it says like they did that first landing and they lost their wheel, oh, I would have been melting down, okay? It's why I'm not a, a, a flight instructor or do this any kind of flying professionally, right? It scares the mess out of me. I mean, I don't mind flying commercially, going to places, but to be on an airplane all that time like that, like professionally every day or something, absolutely not. No, I do. Mm -mm, nope, absolutely not. So, God bless the people in the neighborhood who found him. Can you imagine? Thank God he didn't hit anybody. You know, I mean, can you imagine? I mean, abs this is horrifying, right? I it's just so bizarre. It's so sad. It's so tragic. It's so out of left field. So I'm just curious. You know, I mean, I, for me, I'm like, did he fall out or did he jump out? And if he jumped out, why? You know, this is a very young man with a long life ahead of him, right? So it's just like, was something done intentionally to the plane? You know, was it completely like a fluke and he freaked out? Was he trying to work on something on the plane and he fell? You know, I, there's so many questions, so many questions. Thank God the other pilot was able to bring the plane down safely, which is also what kind of throws me off as to like, well, why would he just jump? It almost seems like, well, they were going to be able to land it. And you would think that he would have maybe grabbed a parachute if he was going to jump out thinking, oh, God, we're going to crash. Let me jump first. You see what I'm saying? So I almost err on the side of, I think he was doing, like, thinking he was going to try and fix something. Like, maybe it was an accident somehow. How you accidentally fall out of a plane is beyond me. I do not know. 
but it's 2022 for God's sake, right? So anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Um, and that's it. I appreciate you hanging out and listening. And don't forget to subscribe to both channels. If you if you like the vibe, then subscribe. And uh, hearts go out to him, his family members, people who loved and cared for him. Uh, and bravery hearts go out to the other pilot for being able to bring that plane down. I'm sure that was horrifying. I hope we get answers to this. Anyways, I will see you all next time that we gather around this old computer. Until then.